So we've got all of the lines blown out and most now, of which is now on your pants. Well, sometimes that stuff happens. That's what makes it so much fun. <laughs> so now it's about getting the antifreeze into the lines. And we've heard both ways. We've heard if you blow the lines out and you got all the water out of the lines, there's no need to put antifreeze in the plumbing lines. This is kind of a belt and suspenders approach for the, I'm talking about the water lines here, because there could still be some low spots in your lines depending on how they're run. So it's still, I think, a good idea to put antifreeze in. If you blow out your water lines and you choose not to do the antifreeze, don't forget, and we'll address this later, you still need to address the drain lines, the traps in the drain lines. We'll talk more about that later. So the question is, how do we get the antifreeze into the plumbing lines? What's great about your camper, or RV, is it has a pump on board. So we're going to utilize the pump. Let me light that up for you. This is where our pump's located. So I have a little adapter that I'm going to be installing, which allows us to hook a hose up so that the pump will draw the antifreeze directly from the bottle and pump it through the system. It's basically just replacing the antifreeze instead of the fresh water. The pump's going to do the same thing it normally does. It's just going to be pumping antifreeze through the lines. So we'll go ahead and get that adapter installed now. So our little adapter piece, we want to hook that up to the line, the fresh water line that's going into the pump. And you can always tell that. It's going to have this little strainer or filter. So this is our line coming into the pump. So the adapter that we got is going to go pretty much right here. And we'll show you that. Alright, so we're going to disconnect the water line. And here's our fitting here. I did put Teflon tape on all three sides here before getting it back into this area. This is that little plastic fitting that came with that I screwed on there so that we can screw that on like so. So we've got the fitting on here and we're going to hook the water line up to this side of the fitting. So we've got the water line hooked back up. And now this little hose extension piece that came with our kit, we're going to hook that right into this guy here. So we've got our hose hooked up. We're going to put that in the bottle of antifreeze. Now right now the valve position is set where the water would come in and go into the pump. But when we do the quarter turn, now the pump is going to draw the antifreeze instead of water. Now we're going to, this is our switch right over here for the pump, so we're going to flip that on and see what happens. Ooh. There you can see it's sucking it out of the gallon through the pipe, through the hose, and then you can see it coming up through all of our water lines. Okay, so that actually filled them. They, the pump shut off on its own, and you can see how far that went for that first gallon for us. So now that we have the antifreeze in the lines, we want to go around to each faucet We'll start with the cold water in the kitchen, and we're going to open that up, and we're going to let it run until we see pink, and then we'll shut it. Okay. And they can see how quickly that came out, so that's great. And you could hear our, I the, don't know, if the, the, the pump, pump kicks pump. back on. It's something to pay attention to. Every time that pump kicks on, that means it's drawing more antifreeze. So we just want to pay attention to how much we have left in that gallon. Before we get through everything here, I would think we'll probably have to switch to our next gallon of antifreeze. We'll see how it goes. So the cold water is good on this one. We'll move it over to the hot. And that looks good there. So now we're in the bathroom. Cold water here. Now we'll do the same with the hot.
we go. Now before we do the tub, I'm going to run out and just double check our antifreeze bottle, make sure we have enough in there still. I'll be right back. Now we'll do the bathtub, cold water first. And hot water. did the tub you can see it was having starting to have we still have a little bit of antifreeze in the bottom of our gallon but it was starting to have trouble drawing it so we're gonna switch gallons And make sure you want to put that tube all the, all way, the way down to the bottom so you're getting as much as you can. There we go. You can hear our pump still running and you can see in the line there's some air so it doesn't have a solid stream coming out so Chris is going to put a draw on the line by opening up one of the faucets. Let's see if we can get this fixed quick. Yeah, you can see it start. You're good! And there, shut off on its own, so it's ready to go again. So we just have the shower left to do in here. Pull the pin. Get the pink coming out of there. We're good. So that's good too. And normally that would kind of be it for you, but we are we need to deal with the washer dryer. The one other thing that we got to do in the bathroom here is the toilet. Now we didn't blow out the toilet water line with air we're just banking on the antifreeze pushing that through so i'm going to depress the lever here basically flushing it and we'll wait until the pink comes out and there we go so here we are we're back outside these are the washer and dryer lines again so the flexible part of the lines i can take off and store inside for the winter but i want to make sure that we get the antifreeze down to the shutoff valves so in order to do that, we're just going to put this end of this guy in this bucket so that when the antifreeze starts coming out, it won't go everywhere on the ground. And then we can actually just use that antifreeze inside. We can pour it down the drains. So we'll hold that in there. Actually, maybe Jen can hold it because I need two hands to do the shutoff. <laughs> we don't want the antifreeze spraying all over me. And just let me know when you see the pink. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Alright, move that one. And then the other one. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Alright, so now that the antifreeze is down through there. We can go ahead and unhook these flexible lines. And that way they'll just drain right into the bucket too. Okay, now we have a plan for, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we're done with the antifreeze, but as you can see, it's still hooked up. And we still have a full line of antifreeze going in there. So when we, we want to take this out and not make a complete mess down here. So what we're thinking of doing 
is we're going to pull this up. Now the, the pump is still on, so when there's a draw on, it'll run. So we're thinking of pulling this up. I'll get to the end of the, the line, and actually, let's see what happens here. Okay, so it's just around there, and I'm going to put my finger over the end of it, and Jenny is going to turn the faucet on. We'll put a draw on it, and as soon as that gets sucked out of there, we'll turn the pump off. Okay, ready? Yes. Turn it off. Got it. Okay, so now we can unhook the hose. We won't have antifreeze going everywhere. And then we'll flip that little guy back to there so that it'll be ready for, uh, for the spring. Okay, Chris just got rid of that line. As you see, there's just a few drops there at the bottom. Oh, did you already put put it over? Yes, yeah, and I put the quarter turn valve back in line. With and we'll the fresh just water. leave it there till we're ready to get it back. Yeah. Dewinterize. That's right. Springify. Springify, I like that. So the very last step here is we're going to take our remaining antifreeze that we have, and we want to put some down each drain. That'll be the for us. It'll be the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, and the bathtub. And that's just to uh, displace the water that's in the traps and get some antifreeze down in there so that the drain line's protected as well. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the winterization process. We have one final step and that is to put the cover on our RV, which we will show you in another video. For all the details on our winterization process, please make sure to visit our website. Thanks for watching.